For this project, you will need some white piece of paper. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser. You're going to need some crayons, some scissors, and some heart to put in your art. Go ahead and hit the pause button to collect your materials. You're holding our paper horizontal, and so the first thing you're going to be doing is writing your name, because no name, no fame. Paper like a pancake. We're going to be tracing our hand that we do not write with today. So if you write with your right hand, you'll be tracing your left. If you write with your left, you'll be tracing your right. Go ahead and fold your paper in half, creating two sides. So in the middle you'll have a fold, and then you'll have one side and another side. On the left side, we are going to be tracing our hand. You're gonna put your fingers together, and we're going to bubble trace to create a mitten that is gonna go around our hand. So you're just bubble tracing the top part of your hand. Now, you're going to take your hand, whatever hand you do not write with, and you're going to flip it where your thumbs are on the inside next to the fold. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bubble trace my hand, creating a mitten around it. So now we have two mittens. You're going to connect them with a line at the bottom, each of them. This is going to sew them off, and we're going to create a little sweater at the bottom where it goes around your wrist, it hugs your wrist so that the warmth will stay in your mitten. So you're going to use vertical lines to create that little sweater part at the bottom of your mitten. Good job. Make sure your thumbs are in the inside. If you didn't do that, that's okay. We can, um, we can fix that when we cut it out. But you're going to want to make sure you have a left mitten and a right mitten. The next thing you're going to do is take a Sharpie or a black crayon and you're going to trace around your mittens. I'm going to use a black crayon because I think that it's... Um, it's going to look nicer when I color. So I'm just going to speed this part up, but I'm going to be tracing around what I just drew, making it bold. Once you're finished tracing, you can add, take your pencil and add some horizontal lines with a slight curve to make your mittens look round. Um, inside of your mitten. This is where we're going to create our patterns. A pattern is something that repeats. And so we're going to be putting patterns in between these stripes. I'm going to go ahead and start to add some patterns. We want our mittens to match. So whatever we do to the right mitten, we have to do to the left mitten. So I'm going to make some striped patterns in my first section. I'm using purple and I'm making them diagonal lines. So you can do the same or you can create your own pattern. I'm just going to create the same pattern that I did in my left mitten, now in my right mitten. Creating a pattern with purple and white. I decided to add some turquoise hearts in between my purple lines, creating a different type of pattern. Do you see how it goes heart, purple, heart, purple, heart? That is a pattern. You could create your own patterns. In the next section, I'm going to do a different diagonal pattern. This one is just going to be diagonal stripes going the opposite way. If you love baseballs, do a baseball pattern. If you love flowers, do a flower pattern. Whatever you decide to do, I'm sure it will look super nice and I can't wait to see it. I hope that you will continue adding different patterns into each section, making your mittens match on the left and the right.
Once you have your mittens filled up with your favorite patterns, I would love for you to take your scissors and cut these mittens out. So what I like to do first is I like to take my scissors and I like to cut on that folded line that we did the very beginning of this lesson. So I'm gonna cut my paper in half first. This is gonna just make it a little bit easier to cut one thing at a time. And I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to go around the black line that I drew around my mittens, the bold line that we drew, and I'm just gonna cut around using my hand that does not have my scissors in it to move it around. Good job. All right, now I'm gonna do the same thing to this mitten. Once you've cut these out, you have two options. If you do have some yarn or some string, you can um, tie these mittens together like the mittens in the story. So all you do is just cut a little diamond out, fold it, and cut it out. And it's going to create a hole for your mittens and your string to tie through. If you have an adult that's helping you with these projects and you're not sure, sure how to tie, you could have them help you tie a knot. If you know how to tie a knot, that's awesome. You could even use a pipe cleaner if you have that at home. If you don't have string or a pipe cleaner, you could glue these onto a piece of paper, making them nice and neat. Or you could just just hang them up together. Whatever you want to do with your mittens is fine. This project was all about using um, opposites, like our left hand and our right hand, and all about creating patterns that repeat. I hope you had fun with this lesson and you liked this story. Remember to upload a picture or a video of your work on the canvas. I can't wait to see what you created with your heart. Have fun!